Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff and Adam Build a Zenith. My name is Adam and Jeff is also here somewhere and he's we're building this airplane Zenith CH750 Cruiser that we're building with a UL Power 350IS engine. You know that probably. I haven't posted any videos in a while, like several months. Sorry about that. Sorry about disappearing. Um, you know, I'll tell you what, uh, life doesn't stop just because you're building an airplane. So life kind of happened, pandemic happened, or just one pandemic uh, happened. Uh, and mostly I just got kind of burnt out on, uh, on building and trying to film everything as I'm building it and then trying to upload photo, uh, videos and stuff and and then you know and and then life and things you know what I'm saying so um, that's that's kind of why just to just to let you know that's kind of why I disappeared um, but you don't care about that you care about the airplane so let me just kind of bring you up to speed uh, on this airplane and oh and I'm gonna be putting out more videos they're going to be several months old because that was when I had filmed them. Um, so the next one, which you can go watch like right now or shortly after this video is posted, uh, is about getting the engine up to speed. So speaking of getting up to speed, um, we have, obviously we're still building. Uh, and, and so and we just kind of took a break for like, a f it's, I, it's hard to tell how long, but like, I think like a few, a few months at least. Um, as I said, I got burnt out on kind of like building and trying to film everything and it just if it was it was not a good time it felt like I wasn't making progress but now I feel like I feel like we kind of turned the corner so uh, let me kind of uh, give you an idea of what's going on I'll turn the camera around here so what we have well everything's a mess right now because we're rearranging the garage again but let me give you kind of a shot of of what we're what we got going on here so we're rearranging the garage uh, which maybe that will be interesting i don't know i think it's very interesting sort of the um the design of a shop layout just in terms of i don't know how you can fit stuff in places and trying to fit the airplane and everything in the garage um and so maybe uh, and i'll show some video of that in in you know in the coming coming videos but anyway uh so the engine um not a whole lot has changed on the engine. You'll again the next few videos you'll see will be about the engine, uh, putting on the uh, exhaust system. I do have some sensors hooked up, uh, getting the mags uh, or not the mags, getting the igniters wired and stuff. Uh, cool stuff, cool stuff with the engine. Um, and so that's that's we'll we'll be looking at that. I have the windshield on here right now because I'm trying to do like a little test fit kind of stuff, trying to figure out how to deal with this problem that is the windshield because, you know, I've looked around and, and basically nobody likes the windshield. Nobody likes the Zenith uh, windshield because it's, uh, it's just you have to cut it and you have to make holes in it. And uh, right now what I'm thinking about doing is, is using heat to cut it. So using like a hot knife, I feel like that will work. Um, but I'm sure someone will tell me that that's a bad idea. Uh, but, uh, and then using like a soldering iron or something to melt holes in here. I don't know, I'm just thinking about it. Um, and then let's see, so with the cabin, with the cabin, I'm starting to get these, the seats uh, w working out, w getting them. I just got these as like a visual. I wanted to feel good. I wanted to feel like I was, you know, getting closer to actually sitting in this thing. So. I got the seat pans connected to the seat, um, these seat thingies or whatever. Uh, I, I know, I, I love the technical terms that I'm using. We have the, a box of aircraft seat rails that, that came in, so I'll be, uh, uh, it's a good thing I didn't rivet this seat pan thing because um, I will be installing the sliding seats because we felt like, you know, it's gonna be something that we're gonna want for sure. But I have all the, I've got the, the dash, uh, the, the top skin is drilled we're working on the dash trying to figure out what we want to do with that i built a shelf i built a shelf um which needs a little bit more work but a, a nice big avionics tray under there and then we're going to do something like a, a a fold down uh dash i really or you know panel dashboard thingy i love the look of that so <clears throat> excuse me i think that's what we're going to do um it's I I, I kind of can't remember when, what you last saw, but I, I'm also working on the uh, the sill here, the door sill, 
working on that, uh, getting that working. Uh, and so that's kind of the thing is like right now, everything's kind of colliding at once, which is like, I need to have the door sill so I can, you know, get the, the, you know, the doors working and then get, but, and then also get the windshield in place, but I can't, I'm not actually gonna put the windshield in place until I, until I get the avionics figured out and I need to get the dash figured out so that I can figure out how to put the avionics in there. Um, so then, you know, I can get to everything. And then obviously with the windshield on, I can't get to anything unless I, unless I cut this open because I have this under there. So you see what I'm saying? It's a, it's like a fine game of chess. You have to plan your moves carefully, uh, which is why uh, building an airplane requires so much brain power and why it's so easy to, uh, to get burnt out uh, unless you're crazy and retired or something. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, if, if you are good, good for you, that's cool. Uh, let's see, we've got the, well, we've had that, the elevator, uh, coming around over here again, everything's a mess because we're getting a, a, a new garage door. This garage door weighs like a thousand pounds, uh, maybe not a thousand, but it, it, well, I don't know, man, it's heavy. It's a big junk wood. Um, it's super old. So we're going to get a new one put in here. And, uh, we, that's part of the reason why we have to rearrange everything. The other reason is because, well, the wing we have the wing pretty much done 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 uh just about as done as it can be uh um with the like there's still some things i need to sort out with the fuel tank and stuff um and let's see you got the some of the wing tips and stuff and also uh, you know obviously ta-da look at this rack we call it the wing sling and uh this is it's going to hold our wings. Um, obviously, not the first person to ever think this up. Um, I will have a video out on that, showing uh, kind of how we built it and just sort of detailing it more, because I think it turned out pretty good, because we have room for this wing right here, and then the second wing will go here. We got our propeller, we got our spar, we have the bottom skin for the wing, because we had to pull that out of the box, and hanging out in here in the wing sling, we have the, uh, the uh, uh, horizontal stabilizer, uh, which we are going to be making some changes to and reinforcing the skin on there uh, as per, uh, uh, you know, uh, service bulletin suggestion thingies. And so we'll be taking care of that uh, soon. And this is great because this wing, and again, you're gonna see some, some more videos coming out about all this stuff this wing right here has been living on this giant table for months like ever since oh gosh probably like last november so i guess november 2019 um yeah which is is uh not ideal uh and it just you know it's taken up the whole table all this stuff and what i realize is that it's actually a pain to work on this table um i know in the home built help videos john uses saw horses and so that's what i'm going to do next time i'm going to use saw horses and that's part of why we're rearranging everything is because i want to be able to move this table against that wall move stuff around and then have room for the saw horses also we're going to have to take this airplane and swing it around well you know take it out and then put it in uh tail first because the tail is going to go like right up here i think it's going to fit um, so then that way I can work on the engine over here. We can do our test run-ups, uh, obviously not, not in the garage, but I mean, we'll be able to just, you know, pull it out of the garage more easily for the test run-ups. Um, and most importantly, the tail, we can't work on the tail when the garage door is going to come up and slam into it. So we have to put the tail over there so I can get the horizontal stabilizer on it and the rudder and we'll see i'm not sure you know obviously there's there's a lot more this is just you know this is uh this is a play it by ear kind of figure it out as you go sort of thing in terms of in terms of the logistics uh, as far as what you mount when and and whether to keep it on or not and all that sort of stuff and also still we're still looking for a place to put this baby because uh the uh the space in this area north carolina central north carolina area it's very tight. Um, it's pretty, pretty ridiculous. But I, I won't get started on that. And so uh, that's what we that's what we got going on. So it's um, uh, yeah. Like I said, I mean, I know I'm just kind of coming out of the blue. Uh, you know, I'm back. 
but I figured now's as good a time as any. And um, hey, look at this. Say hi, Dad. Hello, how are you all? Yeah, so he's, he, he is here still. Uh, you just don't see him as much in, in the videos. And, um, but anyway, more videos uh, coming and this thing will fly. Uh, but, you know, I don't know when. I've given up on like a timeline. But, you know, before, before either of us dies, let's say. I think, I feel like that's, that's probably a pretty good that's timeline. That's a good timeline. It's a good timeline. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, thanks for, if, if you've been curious about where we've been. I appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, you just learned something from all these videos. I'm not saying that that's how you should build an airplane. Maybe it's how you should not build an airplane. But that's how I build an airplane. And um, leave comments and stuff for the other people that are watching this video. I don't know if I'll get to yours or answer it. And I'll probably want to answer it, especially if it's like mean and saying I don't know how to build stuff or something like that. But leave a comment anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next video.